Hello everyone, we're going to cover today the Quack Cup 2 Round 1 Finals. So, like as I've shown on other of the tournaments, this is another round robin setting. So, that's because there is 5 finalists, and so instead of doing single elimination bracket, there's a round robin. So they're going to play multiple matches, I mean exactly 4 in 2 rounds. So, each of the 5 players here are going to play 2 matches in this map and then there's going to be another round that they're going to play another two matches on another map so what is special about this tournament it is quack right it is very very quack it is the second edition of the quacks and the tourney organizer mr jj empire 64 i think it's the, user, the full username he went a bit mad <laughs> but there is a lot of gimmicks mixed up in this one. So, first, it is standard. Second, it is every map is going to be a remix of the Shadows Chase You Endlessly map, which is a very legacy Hall of Fame map from like way back in the day. Um, so yeah, uh, especially this map is literally just two stitched together uh copies of shadows Ch chase you endlessly i'll try to show the original on screen uh so one two the third thing is that the tiles as you see here on screen are custom right they're not your usual tiles the properties are right the hq the bases the cities everything is like all, all the properties are the normal tiles but all the geography tiles i guess if you want like the planes and everything are custom well custom themed i guess or something like that. i know but this one is pokemon clearly the map of the name is pokemon chase you endlessly and so you see like these are mountains as, as i'm putting the cursor you will be able to see on the little um, the little tool thingy it's going to tell you the actual tiles so this one shows you a mountain this one shows you a forest plains but what you see on screen is like the boulders you know, for Pokemon. And you got these little forests, and these are plains, and these are the roads. You know, it's very, 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 very cool. Um, then you also have, you know, these obviously are the sea tiles. Uh, it's very cool, like, you're seeing all the, like, the Pokemon <laughs> tiles. Uh, I got the shoals here, which are, like, the beach. Um, what else? There is these bridges, which are these, like, brick roads. Um, and then you have these little whirlpools, which are the reefs. So very, very, very cool. Very funny. Um, very, uh, how do you say, distracting maybe to the eye. <laughs> so, and there have been many, many maps before, right? There, there have been five maps before this to get to these finals, to these, these final, final stages. And so there have been, I'll try, I'll try to put all five on screen, but you have like a Wargroove themed one, there was a Fire Emblem one, there was, there was a game that I don't know, there was, oh, there was a Mario one, which was really funny, that was probably my favorite. So, yeah, very, very interesting and, you know, props to, to JJ because it is, it definitely was a lot of work to do that because he had to go and manually put each of these tiles. Uh, these, these tiles are not available. For, for us to use in the map editor, but uh, he had to go in and like create these maps with new tiles and stuff. I don't know, there's a lot of back-end work probably there. So yeah, very, very cool. And just wait to see the other map, the round two map. That one, that one's probably the best one. <laughs> so enough about that. Um, oh, also regarding the custom thing, uh, that's the reason why I'm going to cast this on the site, because if I would do it on the replay viewer, it would show you the regular tiles, and so as to keep with the theme of the quack, and uh, for us to view these tiles, these custom tiles, I have to do it on the site. So, it is definitely, and it has been, because it's not my first recording of this, <laughs> it has been very challenging uh, technically for me to do this video, so I ask you please for patience and uh yeah <laughs> it is definitely one of the harder uh, replay commentary re reviews that i have done for sure so let's 
uh, go to the other item of the quirkiness, there's more, right? There's standard, there is uh, remakes of Shadows Change You Endlessly, there is custom, uh, cus custom tiles, and lastly, there is also tags. Tags. So, for those that don't know what tags are, if you have never played Advanced Wars uh, Dual Strike, tags means that you can use two CEOs at the same time. You'll see here, uh, each player has two CEOs, right? And so you have one that's like the active one, and then you have the other one that's like in the background. Let's call them primary and secondary. At the end of your turn, you can just end your turn, or you can swap your CO so that you know your turn ends, but your primary CO changes with your secondary. And so now your day-to-day -day is the one, you know, the, the other one, right? So your day-to-day -day changes. It's not like they're mixed. You choose which day-to-day -to, -day to be playing on with. And you can use you know the power and the supers of both as long as you know they're the one there, they're the primary one. So you have to like calculate from beforehand which one you want to have as your primary, maybe on the turn before, if you're planning to use a super next turn or a power or something. And they both have their own individual power bars, although you can't see them right now here. It, they will, you know, it, it will show up. Trust me. Um, and the primary CO will get charged as normal, and the secondary CO will get charged by half. And when you switch them, you know, same thing. Then the secondary becomes the primary and gets charged as normal. Blah blah. So. Um, that being said, for those that know about a dance force dual strike, the tag power there is broken and is not like active. It's it's not it's not a feature in Advanced Wars by Web, which basically for those that don't know, it was that you can use like both supers on the same turn, giving you literally a lightning strike, but even better because even your infantry mode, so you had like the super of one CO, and then you tag to the other CO and you get the super with that one moving all your units again, it was just insane. Uh, so that's not a possibility on the site. So you use the super of one and then you swap to the other and then our next turn you would be able to use your super. Our five players, our five players are Reduce, Laska Larner, DFS, Shock, and Talos. Those are gonna be our five players for the finals. Now um, in this map, it is literally Shadows Chase Your Endlessly just stitched together back to back. Because if you cut through the middle right there, like this, then you have like on one side a normal Shadows Chase You Endlessly, and then on the other side another Shadows Chase, chase You Endlessly. But they're stitched together, and so it works as a sort of, well, as a mixed base. Because you have these two bases over here, these two bases, these two bases, and these two bases. And so you can definitely see like maybe this base and this base trying to pincer strike this one or this one isn't trying to pincer strike this one. You're going to be see seeing fighting over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, over these two cities, like literally everywhere. Very important places to look at are these islands where the airports are. All four airports are going to be on these islands as well as the comp towers. Um, these airports will go towards the closest base, so this one. Mm, there's also this little black boat that w can be like a little blocker annoying thingy for the infantry or vehicle reinforcement stuff like that so important to uh, keep an eye out uh, keep keep an eye out on these islands to see what happens so there's a lot of properties as well so that you can steal and stuff another thing is that there's a lot a lot of income in this map already on the normal map there is a lot for a regular map now to that duplicate <laughs> Duplicate that income, so it's gonna be a lot. So, I expect to see a lot of vehicles very early and probably lots of tech ups uh, later on. Um, I think we can just go ahead and get into it. So, let's talk first. Before you know, we got the two players, we got Regis and we got Laska Liner. Regis went with Rachel and Flack, and Laska Liner went with Adder and Cobb. Oh, I guess because it's tags. Uh, another thing is that the tiers are all messed up. The tiers are just, they go all over the place. Like Sasha becomes overpowered because using a power with Sasha removes all the power charges from both the other COs, so it's like really strong. Maybe more like power based COs become a little bit better because 
as you swap your CO, you can keep getting charged. So it makes their, their powers come online quicker. And so I think this was like a tier four plus tier four, uh, tier two plus tier four CEOs. So Rachel and maybe Adder were considered as tier two. And then you got tier four Flag and tier four Cole. But we got very different matchups here in this match. So it's gonna be very, very interesting. We got the the movement bros over here, the plus the plus movement dudes of Adder and Cole. And then we have Rachel's uh, super with the missiles and maybe the luck lucky Lass, and Flag the unlucky or maybe very lucky uh, guy power based to seal so let's get into the match enough talking uh, there is a lot to cover so uh, reduce is gonna okay swapping to flag but yeah you're gonna see like that you know at the end of every turn they might uh, either end their turn just normally you know keeping the primary seal or uh, switching their their seals to the other, and uh, funnily enough, Miko, I don't know, the, the side is glitching here a little bit, but yeah, these seals get a little bit squished. <laughs> but the one on the left is gonna be your primary seal, the one that's active, and then the one on the right, the one that's all squished up, is gonna be the secondary one. So we got reduce on orange star on the red, and then we got Laska Learner on the black hole. So. And this, these black bolts are all gonna come in and then start blocking over here. Hmm. Let's see. Who's gonna make the first vehicle? You definitely need a lot of infantry though here. You can see you can definitely see all the income that is like piling up already very soon. Just from, from all the income that there is. You also have double HQ, I forgot to mention that. It's double HQ, so it's not like having two labs that you need to capture all your opponent's labs to win. You, with just capturing one HQ, you win. Um, but like for example, like Las is ending the turn with eight thousand. Like you could have made a tank or something, but they're deciding to make more infantry, so they're they're piling up a lot of funds. So <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see what what happens. Uh, but. I think it's definitely wise because look uh, here you only have three imagery you definitely want more infantry and because there's so many cities to capture right you definitely need one infantry at least in this area to capture these you need one to capture these and another one capturing or two capturing these four you need one or two going over here so that's already like four or five in infantry so it's gonna be tricky as to when to deploy a vehicle because if you deploy too early then maybe you're gonna be scrapped of infantry and your captures are going to be delayed, your income is going to be delayed and so if that very early uh, vehicle isn't getting any damage yeah, maybe it's not worth it and it's actually damaging you. So we're going to get our first vehicle is going to be a recon by Reduce over here. Now this recon will most likely go up here to harass this area, this airport area. It could, it could uh, go maybe over here but we'll have to see. Mm. Laska is going to send an image down here. We're going to get this interrupt, mm, which I guess makes it a little bit awkward for for reduce to attack because you'd have to sit on the city. And mm, I mean, you can get attack here and then take it out, but it is essentially stopping the city for two turns. So there goes that image over here, and boom. Oh, doesn't get the kill. Okay. So we're gonna get a tank, 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 quadruple tank built by Reduce <laughs> on this turn and still has 7,000 more on the back. <laughs> wow. So we got our recon as here as well from Alaska. Let's see where it goes. It's gonna go over here. We got a copter. Hmm. We got an artillery here. This back was gonna sit on this port to deny this uh, the port capture. I'm guessing this one's gonna do the same. Yep, there we go. And this artillery is kind of locking this city from from across the mountains. So it's safe and sound from any tanks or anything. Mm. Okay, this rig is gonna get a hit there onto this infantry. 
this blackboard is blocking the tank from attacking from over here but the tank can't attack from here but that means that you can't make a cop to that turn because you're like self blocking the airport we're gonna attack the artillery and get a uh, get this capture going mm. so so this artillery, i mean it's still locking so it can shoot but i think it it might die next turn it's gonna be hard to lock to protect this artillery i think, I think you can still put this tank here in the city but you can definitely not start a capture here because it can get taken out and then you attack from the sea with a tank. So Laska's probably going to have to pull back from here with this artillery. It was a nice little, um, uh, how do you say, gamble? Gamble is not the word. I don't know. It was a good attempt, but I think this has to probably pull back. This recon is going to get a shot there. We're going to get that comp tower going and we're going to shoot at that recon. Yeah, there goes the artillery, you have to pull back. So now it's Regis' turn with Flak. So, let's see. We've got two infantry, two red infantry over here against one black infantry here. We've got two over here. Mm. So it looks like Laska is on both parts, is sending two infantry, or I mean one infantry on each of these, to contest all the way this, these airport islands while Reduce is not doing the same thing on these sides. So Reduce is just kind of like, eh, whatever. <laughs> you can have this. But we'll have to see. Maybe you, know, you can definitely send this imagery over here or this one next turn. But Reduce is under a lot of pressure over here. So maybe... Mm, maybe we'll try to defend here from all these troops. And we're going to try to flip this seat too as well. So putting a lot of pressure onto Alaska learners. Uh, central HQ area. So, hmm, we're getting these captures. Moving forward, this enter looks like it's going kind of south here. And this tank is going to reinforce down here. So that's like the nice thing. Like you can, this base can easily reinforce this area. So it's going to be really hard to to attack properly this area. Like as red against black is gonna be really hard. Okay, so we're gonna get that interrupt with a tank, and the there too is gonna be locking that tile in case a tank wants to come in and and attack that that tank. That there is gonna shoot back. Mm, okay, we're gonna get those cities. This inventory is sad because it can't go onto that port because the black boat is is bullying the infantry is not letting. Not letting him get to the port. Mm, let's see, we're gonna actually gonna sacrifice that infantry. Mm, we're gonna take out that tank and almost take out this infantry. Uh, in range of this artillery, though. But it seems like all of Red's army is gonna try to move towards this area. Try to collapse onto, yep, look at that. Try to collapse onto this HQ area from Laska Iron. Kind of make it into a four base reinforcement and one airport, or maybe two airports against one or two base reinforcement. So let's see. What's Laska Iron gonna do right now? So we're setting up this little, this nice little, like, tiny uh, base lock and that copter that copter cannot be attacked actually because reduce does not have plus movement so that's really nice from Laska unless you can break through here with a flak luck <laughs> and then the tank goes here and hits there too so that's nice I don't think it's gonna hold though because it's very very little and like Sure, it's threatening, but I think it can fall very quickly. So we're going to deal with this. We're going to make a medium tank to scare away all these tanks that are coming in from red. And, but I think also maybe the, the cool thing about this is that it might draw away all these resources onto here instead of here. So maybe that's Laska Liner's plan. 
and it would be definitely worth I mean it, it would get a lot of value because this is much less than all of this in value and drawing this army away from this very important area you know it's, it's definitely very important so we're gonna uh, sit on the port so nothing can be built here we're gonna oof wait that was allowed yeah it was allowed oof boom and we're gonna get a brute force mm. I think oof there's definitely a lot of opportunities here for sure you can try to you can try to take out this medium tank the copter infantry got two tanks in range I think and you can take this one out with the, the, the anti and then you can try to take the medium tank out say copter tank tank you start capturing and you can try to go for this one the breakthrough here and then the other tank attacks there too so let's see that's exactly what I just was thinking ah doesn't get the KO there and oh that was really nice though we're gonna ah doesn't get lucky there and we're not gonna get lucky there I mean it was nice damage but didn't get the KO so now yes ah oh, not lucky uh, did two damage is good, but did two damage. Uh, yeah, that medium tank still lives. Those rolls definitely not what Reduce was probably looking for. Even even this tank is also like getting shot at infantry and not getting any damage in. So oof, big oof. Those rolls were definitely not in Reduce's favor. And here comes the super from Laska Larner with Adder and mm, I think this, the defense here is pretty pretty good I think La Laska Larner can do a lot of damage here you can definitely swing this copter in this anti-air oh look at that range it doesn't reach this copter though but I think you can definitely do a lot even this base oh I think you can maybe even take over the space artillery tank copter copter uh, this tank doesn't reach this one but yeah I see Okay, we're gonna get the captures first, get the comm tower. So now both players have double comm tower. Boom, artillery. Mm, tank attacks that entire medium tank. Okay. Mm, I take that out. Oh, actually it reaches this copter. Okay, very nice. Boom. And then that copter reaches this one. Oof. And then this one reaches over there. And then this copter is gonna take out that entire. Yep. And this one takes that one. Oof. This is it one? And puts the copter here on the base. Ooh. Damn, is it over? <laughs> Anti is gonna sit on this airport as well, gonna start capturing this city and this city. Ooh. Brutal. I'm really strong turn. Okay. So now it's reduces turn. That was a really nice turn from that Skylarner. Mm, but this is Rachel, right? Rachel has the super ready to go. So where's he gonna land? Hmm. I think probably here there's three copters and a tank, so that's a lot of value. So this is probably gonna be the, the value missile. And then oh you know look, also the entire repairing up to four instead of three because it's Rachel. Get that day-to-day -day extra repairs working. Then the infantry missile is probably going to fall here because you have uh, capturing infantry count as double. So this counts as six infantry and this counts as five. So this is this is where it's going to land. It's going to be one here, one here, and then the HP, I don't know where it's going to land. So we'll have to see. So first things, oh, okay, actually we're going to move a few units. Maybe, oh, we're going to get a few shots in first. Hmm. I think it's so as to divert the missile. Yeah, there you go. Covering fire. And the covering fire actually fell. Okay, so one of them fell here. Another one fell here and another one over oh, over here. Interesting. Okay. And 
Will it be enough to take out that copter? Ooh, with a tank. Yep, there you go. So now the base is good to go. I'll take out that copter. Take that guy out. I'm gonna start this capture. It is not over. This match is still going. We're even going for an HQ cap already. And this is only day 11. Wow. Mm, I don't think it's like. It's not gonna live <laughs> next turn. This is definitely gonna die. There's a lot of heavy vehicles over here. So. And we're gonna swap to Flak. So. Laska Larner decides to use Trail of Woe. So, Laska used uh, Sidewinder, I think it was last turn. And now uses the Super of Coal. So, back to back supers. We're gonna get that extra movement to get, start capturing that comp tower. And then get that kill. We're gonna boom, one shot that copter. Remember, Cole gets the extra firepower from the road. So, that is definitely gonna come into play. Get that KL right there. Ooh, leads it at one. And that one leads it at four, okay. Makes another anti-air. Very important to have anti-air because there is a bomber right here from, from red to try to take out these medium tanks and the base overall. And yeah, uh, it looks like Las Galarna is gonna abandon uh, abandoned this uh, attack on red's base that whole it, it was it looked really well but the missiles did its job i think the missiles plus the extra repair and that entire that was crazy so clutch it was able to to free up the base and stop the push so that was really nice so now it is reaches his turn again with flag almost with the super loaded so let's see what we do here this tank is gonna run away. This one as well. Mm, anti air and anti air attack. Oh, that actually did a lot of damage. And. Are we gonna use a super? Maybe not. No super? Tower? No? No. No, definitely not. Okay. Just moving stuff. Looks like all these troops are going to move more towards the mill, try to really get this city. Uh, these as well, makes a, a copter to stop these infantry from capturing because we're able to sort of take out this anti-air. It's definitely going to attack this copter, but after this is gone, then this will be free for this copter to attack. The thing that sucks though is that we just doesn't have a healthy infantry here to reclaim, so this copter will get flipped. And this image is going to take a while to get here and start to flip this back and try to take these cities. So if there was an image here, that would be huge or two. But in this map, such high income makes for for these scenarios of very scarce infantry numbers. You got all these infantry on the little corners and stuff, getting all these captures. But where fighting has been taking place, you're going to be very low on infantry and then you can't flip stuff back so very very tricky indeed so uh, copter on copter here here it looks like the whole push from red is also dying out all these troop all these troops had to move out this tank this tank um, everything having to kind of pull back but at the same time blacks um, push over here also like both both pushes failed and <laughs> they're both like Pulling back, kind of regroup, you know, and think, okay, where should I go right now? Take that tank out and take that infantry out and the copter. Ooh, getting a lot of like little kills, which is really nice, really getting the unit count advantage. Mm. It's now reduced turn. Also, unit value is pretty good for Alaska Liner. Uh, we, we just does have the income advantage, right? 5k, but at this income, look at, look at that income 42 to 47. That is insane. 5k is not that much here. Uh, if you think about it in like percentage, it is 10%, but 10% is not that much. It's like when you're at 20k and they have 22, it's like eh. Here's 
40 something and 5k difference eh, it's, it's fine you know you still have 40 something you can still make bomber and I don't know, two tanks like you know um okay so this image is gonna go over here this one as well and they're gonna take that anti out the copters are gonna die and then more copters we're gonna heal these tanks up with that day to day and it's like we're just like reconsume mm, where should I go where should I go should I attack here we're gonna start this cap with a 9 HP infantry and kind of like bundling in the middle it seems like these forces from Leska are kind of going you know with with these little kills and these little kills this position is nice to then launch an attack onto this area with that you know you add this and you add this to that it could be a nice triple pincer strike but there's a lot of troops here from reduce and rachel super is very close as well so you gotta be careful with that let's see medium tank is gonna pull back to repair these images are gonna finish capturing this whole island that's crazy well actually here as well for reduce they're both gonna have a full island and <laughs> this infantry <laughs> trying to capture the city and actually you're gonna pull back from these from this middle area from, with these troops so we're gonna fall back and defend here a little bit more probably also creating a, a missile bait here as Rachel is really really close to that super like you got this infantry right here to bait one maybe two missiles so see what reduce does i'm gonna take out that infantry this infantry is gonna move closer to get that comp tower bomber gonna attack that oh and actually decides to use covering fire hmm now the missiles where did they land oh okay sorry about that okay so one fell here to this infantry, probably like right here. So hit all these five infantry. Another one fell over here. So it hit these guys. Uh, it, was, it was probably this one. So I hit one, two, three, four, five, six. So it hit all these six units. So that was the HP one. And then you got the value one, which was, fell right here. So I hit these three units plus this entire. No bad. <clears throat> Let's see. I think though it could have definitely be an idea to hold that super um, since there's no fighting it could be a good idea to hold that Rachel super and keep threatening to to use it on no? like force last color to have these baits and stuff it could be really strong so now we got the super <clears throat> I might throw this super dry. <clears throat> so we're gonna get that kill there. Almost get that kill right there. I'm gonna go for some captures and really uh, put pressure on this airport. Look at that. We got this anti backing it up and these three uh, infantry. We're gonna bring these copters. More troops are gonna come from the middle towards, towards this airport area to really overwhelm this. It's like, okay, fine, you're you're here, okay, I'll just go here, I'll just go take the airport. That anti getting that shot on that fighter, oof, that hurts so much. Yeah, it's a bunch of shots here. And I'm gonna probably get this this flip right here. I'm gonna try to <laughs> I'm gonna try to flip these cities as well. It's gonna be pretty big. And just here healing up, pulling back. Mix an anti here. Oof, can we just maybe collapse here? Uh, there's nothing There's nothing that reaches the base, huh? Yeah, so, wow. That base is super safe from attacks. I think definitely the missiles could have been saved maybe for later, but there might have been a reason why we just felt the need to use that super. So we're gonna take out that copter Fighter gonna get a kill there, 
get the other copter and we're gonna use barbaric blow <laughs> so first going for the guaranteed kills you know and then going for the barbaric blow because I don't even remember what the stats are with the barbaric blow it's like you get negative 50 or plus 200 and something ridiculous like <laughs> says that you want to go for the safe ones first and then try to go for the gambles with the super so let's see uh oh, bad luck and that one eh, did a little bit but that one oh that was nice that one was a nice little kill that one okay i'm gonna get that kill infantry and tank very nice uh, infantry, nah, didn't do anything. We're gonna get that KO. And normal roll right there. Mm. But it's tricky because we just can't go too crazy because Cold Super is already charged. So Last Calerna can use that Super next turn. So I was thinking, you know, maybe the bomber can attack this. Antire, right? No, because this Antire can do two, four, six, eight. So, very tricky. Looks like we're not gonna interrupt any of these captures. Right? Like, Las Calarna is gonna take control of this whole area of the cities. Already has the comm tower, gonna take the airport probably. Oof. So, yeah, there we go. Trail of Woe for, for Las Calarna. How many turns have, has it been like consecutive powers I think I'm gonna have to check back but it's been at least two maybe three I don't, I don't remember but yeah a lot so that enter that lived is gonna take out that new copter we're gonna take ooh, almost that fighter we're gonna attack this black boat this black boat here is <laughs> imagine if this black boat wasn't here you can make a battleship on this port and then you move it over to this tile right here and it goes two four six it, it reaches the base <laughs> so Regis really doesn't want to allow last color to make a battleship here um i'm gonna take these out we're gonna get up we're gonna move a, a lot of these troops that were here defending to just kind of like sort of pincer strike this area there's definitely not much to respond from red here. Uh, we're gonna try to flip this this city right here. This energy moving here, bringing a tank. All oh, this is probably gonna move forward. Oh, let's see. Even going for an HQ cap and these two uh, caps. Of course, this is not gonna. Uh, how do you say? Pull through. This, like, just look at that. But it definitely creates. Um, pressure right all these are just gonna regroup a little bit more try to go for the airport next turn maybe okay so we're gonna interrupt that capture right there and the Sun is going down and it's the reflection is hitting my face we're gonna Get this copter shot there and take it out with a neo tank. Mm, I'm gonna start this capture over that one. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to get that one though. Look, look at the, the army here. The bomber's gonna fly in. This bomber hasn't been able to get any shots, I think. This has eight shots. I'm not sure how many shots the bombers have. But. Yeah, all this attack is going a little bit un unpunished here from Blaska Learner. I'm gonna assume a medium tank here, at least. No. <laughs> Just a tank? Oof, this medium tank is gonna go crazy. <laughs> and stop the CEOs. Ooh. Yeah, into Rachel, which makes sense to have a super. Like, there's a lot of value here from Reduce. That can definitely be put to use. Attack stuff. There's only two infantry though, like you really want to have more infantry, I think. So as to be able to capture more stuff, you can try to go here, try to take over this island, just like uh, Black is doing over here. Hmm. But not making a medium tank here, oof, because now this medium tank is definitely going to get a shot here. It's looking, it's looking really good for Lascalar. Look at that, boom, yeah. 
and then we got the side slip actually and it's super glitched here <laughs> I told you, I told you it's gonna be like that <laughs> we're gonna get uh, some kills, some shots here and there and then start that capture, and start this capture as well mm, gonna get that kill with a triple tower and the extra stats that's 140 fire firepower yeah. it's pretty strong and we're gonna take that out and take that entire out mm. and uh, yeah I'm putting these back here I think you don't yeah for sure like this entire can die but you do want to have this other entire alive because there is a bomber so you do want to still have that Anti-air to threaten. Now there's gonna be a bomber from Las Calarne to contest all of these big vehicles. So yeah. There is two anti-airs though, so it is a very well defended army. I think it just needs a little bit more of infantry maybe, and it can definitely go somewhere and try to reclaim some territory and some properties. And they're both at 50k income. What? This is standard, it's not high funds, but it almost feels like high funds. And there's an APC here. Uh, the APC is to refuel this black boat, has only three fuel left. Uh, so there goes APC, bloop, yep. And it's gonna repair that recon. Oh, look at that, and we have a battleship also. So all this army value from reduce is actually gonna go towards the middle to maybe go to this area actually. I thought maybe it was going to go here, but yeah, maybe not. Maybe it's just going to go here. Try to collapse here and try to win, no? I think, although the stats might look very even, I think it looks very good for, for Alaska Learner. For now. There was this attack over here. Uh, there's this attack over here. There's just a lot of, like, um, like... The pace of the match is being determined by Laska Larner right now. And that is always huge. At least in my opinion, it's like the one that's dictating the game, the one that's carrying the flow of the game, is just huge. You get to dictate where the fights take place. Uh, we're gonna oof, we're gonna take that out. Probably you know you can just sit there so no more copters. Taking out a lot of unit counter right here. We're gonna take out that anti-air. And now this bomber can be a little more free to come forward. And Reduce does have flak active, so we won't see any missiles next turn. So this does allow Laska to just go in and attack without worrying about positioning units in a certain way to avoid getting hit by missiles. So that's really nice. More units invested into this airport. Really, 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 really wanting to take over this island. Uh, oh, I'm actually not putting... <laughs> I guess... I mean, I guess it's fine, no? Because you have literally an entire right there. So it's like, if you make anything, I will just shoot at it. Let's see. Fighter coming in. Mm, this artillery is going to lock that port so that we can take that black boat out and then make a, uh, a battleship and bring it over here and lock that base. Look at this pressure. Oof. This bomber. But I think you do need a little bit more, like a, a few more tanks or something, because if not, uh, anti-airs here and tech ops are gonna do whatever they want. Mm, there's a mega tank here though. Really scared maybe of this Neo tank with a barbaric blow, maybe. The Neo tank can hit it and do whatever percentage, <laughs> try to take it out. So let's see. Copter kill. Get that other kill. And yeah, we're going for a barbaric blow. Let's see. Ah, uh, no, oh, that's like a normal roll. But here comes the battleship. It is pointing at that base. So we do have a base lock. Um, we are going to interrupt that. And eh, okay, not bad. Ooh. Wow, that was a really good uh, roll. Look at that. Boom! Did 5 damage to a medium tank. That's pretty, pretty good. And then takes it out with a 5 HP tank. Nice. And that one? 
Whoa, that was a nice roll too. You see the infantry on the copter? Whoa, look at that. The other time, the other barbaric block was pretty bad. Or was it a normal power? I can't remember. But this one has been pretty decent. Let's see this one, this roll right here. Oh, that was a bad one. <laughs> that was a really bad one. <laughs> uh, fighter at 1 HP, <laughs> 1 HP copter. So just like trying to block here. I mean, this mega tank could move with a power, just come here and shoot at that battleship. Oof, that would hurt so much. Mega tanks do a lot of damage to battleships, actually. And we got another mega tank here. Um, ooh, I think you really would need an anti though. Not sure why the mega tank. Because you already have these tech ups right here. And as you take these out, the only thing that can take out the the anti would be this tank, maybe, like safely. So I feel like anti would be the 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 better decision. Oof, look at my hair. Anyways. Mm, I guess you have this anti right here. Still, it's not it's not covering exactly. It's not even covering these. Hmm. Yeah, you don't have any fighter. Oof. I mean, yeah, you, you make an anti over here, but I think maybe an anti over here would be nice. Because this bomber can only take out one of these two. I'll probably take out the bomber and then this tank. Hmm. I guess with a trail of wool, this tank could do a lot of damage to an anti here. Yeah, it's tricky. So there goes, boom, one shots that Neo tank. And anti here, and another anti here, they got that bomber, these are the two. That tank is gonna die, and then that other tank is gonna die as well. Uh, we're gonna get these, that killed right there, get that shot. Is the mega tank gonna shoot at the battleship? No, it's gonna shoot at the Neo tank. Yeah. Oof, look at that one shot there. And recon, okay. Oof. Whoa, why not from the road? Mm. And forming a little missile bait here with the infantries. And moving in. Getting this capture right here. Really collapsing everything here. Yeah, it looks really good for Alaska Learner, really bad for Reduce and swaps the CEOs. Las Galerna has been having like power after power after power, just like one after the other. And so here go the missiles and two of them actually land here. So HP and infantry and then one landed right here. So we're gonna, oh, can't even take out. <laughs> Aridius resigns. Ooh, GG to both. Yeah, that was, this was really well played. Ooh, I can't feel like I can't feel. Oh, I can't help feel like the first Rachel super could have been held a little bit longer to maybe threaten and get a better position. Because after that was used, that gave like free reign for Alaska Liner to go attack everywhere without caring about the way you position the units, and was able to get a really good advantage here, uh, really solid here. You know, taking out this airport. Like literally, both airports were. We're done. Got a nice attack over here, which meant that no more pressure was going to be coming this way. Um, was doing was doing great on all four islands, and then was kind of trying to collapse over here. So yeah, really really strong. If this continued, we would see. I mean, there's no anti here, so this bomber is going to get another shot. And there's just way too many units, I think. So, really, really, really well played. Sad to see that the battleship didn't, <laughs> wasn't able to get a shot at the base. But yeah. GG. Let's move to the next one. Okay, so we have our second match. And it is with DFS and Shock 455. Or just Shock. And they decided to go with, well, this ZFS went with Adder and Cole. So we got this little duo again. 
And then Shock decided to go with Rachel and Jess, actually. And Shock is a big time high funds player. Um, they're not currently playing in the Global League, but I think Shock is the number one still with high funds, and it's like very it's gonna be very tricky to to you know surpass that ELO because I think the next players are like I don't know 100 ELO beneath Shock or something. So one of the strongest, if not the strongest, uh, high funds player there is. But this is not high funds, although it does kind of play like a high funds map as we've seen in the previous match. I'm also changing the screen as where I'm, I'm, I'm recording this, so hopefully it looks better now than in the previous match. I'm just kind of trying, again, as I was saying, this is going to be like the hardest uh, video to make. With the exception, actually, of the guys, of course. The tutorials, those are the, definitely 100% the hardest videos by a landslide. Those take just like hundreds and hundreds of more time and work to do. But anyways, I hope it looks better here. And I, oh, so my whole point that I was talking about Shock and Jess is because Jess is pretty good in high funds. So I can definitely see why you would pick Jess here. And we saw a lot of vehicles, right? And very few infantry. So there's definitely some merit there for a Jess pick. So let's see what happens, right? Let's get right into it. So I changed their colors. I think this might be a better looking contrast. I might just use this for the next few matches. So I made DFS with Black Hole and I gave Shock uh, Orange Star. It also, you know, um, funnily enough, goes in the theme with our little characters. Uh, you know, Rachel, I guess, just is Green Star, Green whatever Earth, and these two are Black Hole. So that's nice. And Shock actually trying to go for the. I like it. We're gonna skip here this capture or this one, and actually gonna move here to try to rush the airport and DFS. Uh, the black hole just doesn't make it in time to really block, so um, this is gonna allow Shock to just move here and then get the airport. And Dead is not gonna do that. And although you definitely could, that you put you put the infantry here, and then the black boat has to choose one of these two places. But whichever it decides to go, the infantry can still go one, two, or one, two. But that if decides to get the income first rather than speeding up the airport. And we're gonna block over here. So there goes the infantry from Shock to go for the airport. Um, we're gonna block here as well. And block over here. And we got a recon also from Shock. A day one or day three. And this is not updating correctly. Let me refresh. Uh, okay, it, it is not updating correctly. <laughs> okay, never mind. I, I can't make it to work, so uh, it's fine. This will be our little date counter, which you probably won't have any idea what I'm talking about because I'm just going to edit it and it will seem like this has always been the date counter. I think. We'll have to see. Again, another of the technical difficulties of recording this match. We got a mech here. What? I guess it's gonna defend these captures. I mean, it can't defend this recon from just freely attacking this little guy. Um, but the recon is actually gonna swing over here to go for the island, which is gonna be really annoying. Uh, but yeah, that recon was a day two recon. Okay, so let's see, Mike goes over here, it can also just capture the city, which is really nice as well, so it's not just a, a useless mech right now, it can still capture, and it would, you know, it would have taken an infantry the same amount of turn, of time, I mean, and this imagery is going to get shot at by this recon, so we're going to make a tank, but it is not going to reach. So we're going to get all these captures, and probably see that recon attack which is going to be really annoying because now this airport is going to be really delayed and maybe for like a really long time maybe forever I don't know I don't think so I think the airport eventually does come online but delaying it like this is pretty huge so here goes this recon and it looks like DFS wants to do the same thing to shock over here 
to this delayed airport capture. But there is a tank here from Shock to defend from that, so uh, Shock can go and start capturing this. Tank can move over here and protect the the capture. I think that if would probably still still send the recon to attack that infantry because it delays the capture by a lot. Even though it's gonna get hit by the tank, it is pretty big because again, there is very few infantry, so you damage this one infantry and then all these captures are just gonna be extremely delayed. So down goes that infantry and we're gonna start the capture and so moving over here, gonna try to make sure to get these little cities over here. Of which uh, database is a little bit more ahead in that. And yeah, tank goes upwards to cover the capture. Let's see if ZFS decides to. Oh, actually, uh, an APC here from ZFS. That's very interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, I think it's to like bring this infantry to get these captures more quicker. Just because of this recon harassment, like you can get this kill over here and then to speed up this, that has been very much delayed. So yeah, boom, that goes in, probably, yeah, put it right in front of the recon so the recon can't attack and next turn it starts a capture, so really nice. And attacking from over here to deny the recon from getting away, right? Look, that really slows the movement. If the tank would have attacked from here, then the recon can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the tank We'll do two, four, six. It could not reach to take it out. So, yeah, very nice. The mech actually gets that capture. We're gonna interrupt that over there. Probably make a tank here. Uh, we're gonna obviously get that little interrupt there. Yep. Uh, we're gonna make another mech. And we're gonna oh, a medium tank. Okay, that's nice. So if if Shark decides to attack from over here, you get bumped by a uh, by this medium tank. We got this copter too, also. So very interesting to see how all these three airports are being are, are being very delayed. And uh, DFS just like just willingly delaying this airport a lot, really. Very interesting. We're gonna attack here and not actually going for that tank attack because of that medium tank. So Delphys doesn't have any airport. <laughs> this is really annoying. Well, I mean, it forces the tank to just go here to finish this off. Um, or else you start the capture, you get a hit to interrupt it for one more turn. So yeah, there goes the capture and we're going to finish that recon for sure. And we're going to attack that infantry just to do one more damage, which is enough to delay that airport even more. And not only the airport, but other captures as well. So yeah, very, very, very strong. And same thing over here. This infantry sacrificing itself to bring it down to four, which would delay it another turn. ABC is gonna come back to bring more infantry. And get some attacks here with mech supporting and an artillery soon to also uh, support. And we're gonna switch to Adder. You probably see players swapping around CEOs just to. Uh, administer or manage the power charging you know so they're kind of even in charge you can see there we're gonna take out that recon take out that infantry we're gonna pull back over here try to defend maybe make a tank oof but it's scary this uh this medium tank is kind of scary right here um got this copter it's gonna get a free hit unless there's a power from adder I don't think you can get a power though this turn, so nah, just a tiny little hit there. And I start these port captures. Mm, looks like the islands are pretty locked. Well, actually, the two for shock are are you know good. Well, this one's beautiful. This one is like eh, decent. This one is super locked in by Derefes, and this one is actually like, uh, Shock is like moving in. <laughs> so Derefes is going to have to send something here or else you're just not going to have that airport. But actually, Derefes is going to send these things over here, very similar to our last match. 
trying to pressure this base over here. Got the medium tank staring, these two banks as well. Uh, we can bring this artillery in external to point at it, so very scary for sure here. So shock will probably 100% need to make a medium tank here. Because anything anything less will get taken care of. We do have this copter, but it can't get any shot anywhere. Hmm. We're gonna <laughs> sacrifice the imagery for one damage on the mech. Um, we're gonna get some shots at the max. So that's definitely helpful. Yeah, and we're gonna make a medium tank. So this might actually prevent Adder from getting a first strike, which wouldn't be that great though. Again, it's Rachel, or even if it's Jess, even worse. So we're staying, oh, we changed to Jess, so. Gonna get those little tiny firepower increases. So let's see, we got the medium tank, I'm gonna attack here. Uh, we're gonna use the power. Hmm, what's the power for? Was it was that from the power? No. So we gotta get that shot. Uh anti air. Two, four, two, four, six, seven. Okay. It is for the anti air to get that little shot there. Mm, gives some nice boost here and actually makes it so that this image is in range of the HQ next turn. So putting a lot of pressure right now onto this base. Probably uh, start cleaning up these two units and then it would mean that there's only like a medium tank left So yeah, clean that up get a shot there to weaken the tank weaken a little bit more maybe the other imagery yep so really weakening those units making this medium tank all alone has no friends even makes a bomber so like really doubling down on this base rush or even better an hq rush completely forgoing this island right here the comm tower, the airport, the multiple cities, just, it's fine. I'll just have one airport, that is enough for me to completely collapse all four bases, literally all four bases and an airport in this tiny area right here. So it is, DFS is like, okay, I'm gonna win this match in just a few turns. <laughs> or I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win or lose, right? But you're the player, you're, gang you're gambling that you're gonna win. Oh, of course. But you can see like completely this is all like there's nothing here so this has to be a successful pressure by ZFS or else you lose just foregoing this is a lot of income foregoing these as well even like the HQ so like you really are on a timer here so let's see shock just needs to defend from this and I think it will be looking really nice for shock it's gonna be really tough because there isn't that many units you can't no you can't get a shot on the medium tank which would be huge anything you build from these airports is going to be too late i think unless you make like a fighter and then you put it here but still there's an anti-air oof probably before you see like some uh, another take up like a neo tank or of some sort but you also are going to need an anti-air probably built from over here mm, unless you make a fighter to counter the the bomber I'm oh, actually gonna get a Jess power. Hmm, what's the Jess power for? I'm not sure. So it gives it more firepower to that attack. And that attack. And we're just gonna put that medium tank there. I think it might just be for the extra stats, really. Yeah, more of a like a defensive extra stats. Oh, never mind. We switched uh, COs, so I'm not super sure why that was for. Maybe it was just for this attack here and this little extra firepower. Um. Okay, we don't have the actions. The again, the per action here. So, so get the board really quickly. We got this bomber. We got all these forces collapsing. Let's see what happens here. Got this lone base. So what happens next? Uh, next turn. So yeah, <laughs> uh, very hard collapse here from all these units. 
surrounding the medium tank with these four infantry, you know, on the on the HQ, as well as surrounding this medium tank on the base. Uh, we're also blocking this little access to the mountains for like blocking off these reinforcements from shock. So these medium tanks are all alone. They're gonna have to deal with these infantries by themselves. Unless you can somehow get like a super and breakthrough of some sort. I'm not sure. So let's see. This is very tricky because this bomber is like pointing at that. You can definitely take like if nothing happens here from shock, that FS ones. Because you get the capture. So let's see what Shock decides to do. You can get this capture here. You know, it's gonna take three turns. Imagine if this was a 10 HP infantry. I think Shock could actually win, maybe. Like you start the capture and you block with tank, copters, stuff like that. It's pretty crazy. Cop to go in there, really, really trying to rush this HQ rush. Uses a lucky last and takes out those two medium tanks. Mm. Go for some attacks. Start the HQ cap there. Mm. And Shark resigns. So, this was a really quick match. Um, but yeah, understandably, it is done here for Shock. There was way, way too many units over here from that FS. Literally all four bases and this airport just pouring over here, blocking off over here from the new reinforcements, makes it that this is going to be a guaranteed HQ cap from, from that FS. You can, uh, you take, you know, you move this guy off, you use bomber, medium tank, take this guy out, put an infantry to start capturing, and you keep blocking these out, and you just won. Unless... Shark could have maybe gotten a super, like a regular super next turn to do that, but you can easily divert, like here ZFS had this little infantry ball to divert the infantry, probably also the HP missile, and then you can just make another, like Neo tank, another Neo tank, Omega tank to divert the uh, value one. So yeah, it was very, very winning from ZFS. Even if you delayed it one turn, uh, Shark didn't have the possibility to close it out quickly enough to, to beat that. So, GG. Let's move to the next one. Okay, we got our third match of this round and we have Talos against Reduce. Reduce played in the first one against Laska Learner, of which Laska won, if I remember correctly. And so it means Reduce lost in that one, so we'll have to see if Reduce can get a win here to try to stay in. Because if you get two losses in the first round, eh, you're probably not going to win. Uh, you, like you're not gonna be the champion because from four matches you lose two, mm, your chances are gonna be really bad, I think. So Reduce really is gonna want to get this win in this one, and this is the first uh, match that we're gonna be covering from Talos. And again, a similar uh, CO picks. Talos going for the duo, the Adder and Cold duo, going for those plus movement, the plus movement bros, and then we have Reduce with Rachel and Flack. So we've been seeing a lot, you know, we've seen uh, no mirrors for now and just like plus movement versus Rachel Super and whatever other else. We've seen Flak. I guess it, you know, it's, it is again reduced and um, it's just been Rachel and Flak for both matches. Let's change the seals really quickly. Let's do Talos and reduce like that. You know, we stay in theme with a little seals. So. Let's get right into it. Mm, yeah, we got Talos in the black hole with Adder and Cole, and we got Reduce with Orange Star in uh, with Rachel and Flack. So, got these black bolts coming in. I'm gonna start blocking. Let's see if any of them, you know, decide to rush the airport or not. It looks like, hmm. Talos over here is not going to rush to the airport. We're just going to get this city and reduce is going to get this city first. We'll see if we're going to go for this airport instead over here. So now it looks like uh, all four infantry responsible for this airport capture are just going to go for the city first. And the next one will probably go towards the airport. Let's see if anyone makes a recon. 
I remember we saw that day two recon <laughs> on the last match. That was funny. Mm, no vehicles just yet. So now we're gonna go for that airport. Uh, I'm surprised this the black uh, black didn't go here to block this infantry. So let's see. Like Talos can definitely do that here. Mm, I guess you do have two infantry, so it's like. It doesn't really matter, I guess, where you send the black boat because if you send it, if you're blocking this infantry, then this one can do one, two. If you're blocking this infantry, then this one goes one, two. So, regardless, one of these two infantries is gonna get to the airport in two turns, and the other one will get this one in one turn. So it doesn't really matter. So that is why they're probably not moving the black boat. I'm just leaving it there. And so we're gonna do that. We're gonna get these captures. Looks like, yeah, leaving those black boats there, and no vehicles just yet. Just really making more infantry, more infantry. Remember, as we've saw, uh, as we've seen before, infantry become very scarce later on as vehicles start pouring in and the battles start fighting, and I don't know, maybe the the base uh, pressure, you know, forces you to just make more and more vehicles, so you have less infantry. As the infantry also died due to uh, capture denying or stuff like that you know they start dying and you don't have any more to capture stuff but we do have our first vehicle and it's going to be a recon from reduce over here at the bottom left and you know we've seen before this one can really go down here and try to harass this area there's only there's usually there's, uh, there's usually only one infantry in this area so it is definitely worthwhile to just sacrifice a recon to stop this infantry even though you lose it to a tank just slowing down or denying this whole area all these captures for such a long time is definitely a lot of value from just a single recon so Talos is going to start the two airport captures right now hmm. uh, this black one actually moving away because it's probably going to point at this uh, port so it has to stop bridges from getting it that makes sense Recon is actually, yeah, moving down south over here, just pointing over there, and we got this the counter tank from Talos. Um, this infantry actually not gonna go over here, it's gonna get the city first. Makes sense. And we're gonna get this the classic interaction that we've seen before over these two cities. The infantry's really wanna capture it. We got the tanks backing them up. We'll see what happens over here. So, uh, tank. Okay, it is in range enough to defend it, regardless of where the black boat goes. So, interesting. And we're gonna get an artillery too. Hmm. And so, this infantry actually is not. So, I think this one just went south, and then the next one went here. And so, we're gonna get an artillery to try to cover these captures. Which makes a lot of sense. Like, you can definitely put this artillery over here. Like, you start a capture, put another one here or something, and you really lock it down. This is like artillery heaven, almost. <laughs> okay. So, the airport over here from Reduce is uncontested. So, Reduce is going to have both airports. Actually, they both have both airports. We'll see if the recon gets a hit. Yep. We actually. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, I mean, the tank can still get a hit. Now this black was going to move over here. But it's, I think we've seen a similar thing in, in another match. can't remember which one. This tank is going to be forced to attack from the airport to like um, delay copter deployment, at least for one turn. Another recon coming towards the middle. We do have a lot of tanks here though, so I'm expecting some tanks here from Regis. Uh Yeah, tank, infantry. And this tank is protecting this guy from this tank. We got these tanks protecting the, this guy from this tank. So already a lot of pressure in multiple areas of the map. We're gonna get those ports. So Regis is not doing the whole uh, black boat sitting on the port kind of thing. We are gonna go for this little interrupt here. Uh, for which it just does not have anything backing it up. Hmm, interesting. Might have been uh, an oversight because this tank goes from over here, I believe. Look 
Could have been put over here, maybe. Two, four, six. Uh, maybe here in the city instead of the HQ. I'm not sure. So, we're gonna get this hit here. Mm, I was thinking of like, instead of sending it to the city, like it is nice to get the city first because then it means that damage is gonna be able to heal up and then capture faster later. But this does mean that this Recon can get another shot, bring it down even more, doing it, you know, the capture more. And also means that you would have to spend another turn with a tank on the airport to take out the Recon, which means another turn less of a Peacopter. So I, I think the other option would be to send this infantry towards the comm tower and then you attack with the tank here and the Recon can still, you know, can still move like this and attack the infantry but then you move off the tank, you kill the Recon and you're able to make the copter. But Talos decides not to, decides to kind of uh, trap the Recon in there to get the kill maybe. Okay, does that. It makes a copter down here. So this infantry will get shot at for free most likely. Um, looks like Talos will, might also get these capture. well this one. So, a lot of units everywhere. Let's see. We're gonna get this over here. So, not a lot of interaction, at least it seems in this match over these little pairs of cities. Got this tank here. Recon, it's just gonna swing down over here. Uh, very nice. So, uh, it kind of points at this ar artillery and this recon. It is out of range of this tank, so... And this blackboard is kind of... Mm, not doing anything. <laughs> Two, four, six. Yeah, it, it doesn't do. It doesn't prevent the tank from doing something that it can do, going this way. So, more captures. We're gonna get these ports as well. Infantry finally going towards this area. It, it really takes a long time for this base, like the HQ base, to go towards the island area. So you do have like a a very big advantage in time from this base to get that airport. It's very, very tricky, the timings aspect here, because there's an early copter, then you need to make an anti-air, but maybe you're forced to make a tank, so there's a lot of things, right? So, let's see. This tank actually just going to sit here in this little intersection. Let's see. Where is the pressure happening right now? Like, this has to pull back by reduce. Hmm, I think Talos has a better position overall, I think you can kind of decide what, what, where, where to go. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't go for this capture, because the copter. Uh, that probably means that, that this anti is not going to go south. Uh, we're going to... I mean, lock that city, but there isn't really an energy trying to capture it. It's just protecting this, I think, from these tanks. Hmm, looks like Regis is just playing more with offensively. Not really putting that much pressure, at least in this area. Uh, maybe this one. Okay, so the copter, that's why this infantry didn't go capture that, because we just really wants to get this capture, so the entire here protecting the, the infantry from this copter. Yeah, pulling back over here. So very defensive. Not really pressuring much, except maybe this island. Eventually. So let's see. Tal is gonna get the city. Mm. <laughs> Moves off from the port to, I guess, not get hit by a copter. Okay, pulling back over here. We're gonna start sending images over here. Copter, not gonna attack anything, just out of range. Another copter. Just sitting here, we chill. Just leaving that city tile to attack from with a tank, but yeah, there's an artillery, so you can't really attack it. Gonna make a mech. Very chill, no? Very chill, very chill. I mean, chill. There's definitely pressure, but... Uh, they're like, hmm, where should I tag? They're trying to, re to respond to things and slowly build some pressure. This blackboard actually is gonna sit here and prevent any battleship shenanigans from being built and uh, 
this this activity is locking the port so this black belt can't sit on it anymore that might be something that he just wants to do like get this port make a battleship early boom lock that base so that's huge you have base port airport all like funneling towards here and oof like also this one i think that's a pretty strong um wind condition maybe if you want to call it definitely uh a strategy worth going for in this map i feel like it is not possible in the original map but in this one for sure because you have this the opposing port so let's see we're gonna get all of these little corner cities from talos as well as this one and this one so all the the tiny islands from talos are all are good we're just almost the same except for the no actually yeah we're just probably gonna get so they're both gonna get all their tiny islands this force kind of like creeping towards the middle towards again towards the hq they're all always going for the hq and you know there's definitely a, a reason no it's it's in the middle like this one is more safe because you can only send like these two bases and an airport versus these two bases and an airport you can reinforce but going for the one in the middle is definitely viable because you can combine these two bases and these two bases and all just collapse onto one just go all in to that hq and usually in mixed base you know to avoid stuff like this of like oh i'm just gonna take this one area and win by hq cap uh they'll have labs you know and so there'll be like a lab here and a lab here or something like that but because these are HQ, you just have to capture one. You just capture one HQ and you win. So, yeah. It definitely looks like Talos is now collapsing everything over here in this area. So now it's reduced its turn. We're going to get this interrupt here as well. So we're going to capture. And let's see. We'll reduce... Hmm try to collapse over here there's not really much in position you got these kind of out of position these are just kind of protecting this copter from these copters but it's like talos has no interest in uh, really attacking this so reduce now has to really react because all of this is definitely pointing at this hq I'm gonna get some hits here kill that infantry kill this one as well Actually gonna get that copter, probably bring the entire to support it, you know, so that this copter just Yeah, exactly. Mm, I bring more copters. Just like getting the little harassments in the areas where Talos has left, no? Because he's like, I'm just gonna collapse over here. <laughs> Oop. Let me refresh. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I had an, an internet problem, but it has been fight. It has been fixed. So, yeah, we're back. So, where were we? So, we got reduce, capturing. Mm -mm -mm. And yeah, so reduce is under pressure over here. Yeah, we're getting that kill over there, and getting that attack there. Because as, as we said, Talos uh, is, is sending everything towards this area and so is li leaving a little bit undefended. These areas, we're going to see this little copter attack there as well. So making use of these like undefended areas due to the overinvestment in the middle. But yeah, I, I'll, be, I'll be a little bit scared from So yeah, boom, nail tank to kind of contest all these tanks that are coming in. Nice little defense here by Reduce. I think this is pretty solid over here. So I see what Talos decides to do. Do you collapse onto here? Hmm, I don't know. You do need a bomber maybe to deal with that Neo tank. Mm, we're gonna get all these still kills. Start this capture here. I'm gonna actually get this kill, and I think this is pretty solid. Because now this anti cannot get the kill on the copter. So really nice. And also gets away with this hit over here very very solid by Talos finding those little hits a little position blocking with his infantry really nice and yeah this is not too 
um, carry out an attack over here. So just gonna pull back, not let this Neo tank get any any shot except this one, but can get shot by the artillery right there. So yeah. Very nice. Let's see reduces turn. What do we do now? I'm gonna get, get a bunch of capture captures. I can't even speak anymore. <laughs> These games are so long. <laughs> We're gonna take the black boat and whoop sacrificing a copter. Sacrificing another copter. Uh oh. What is reducing? I mean, you do have Rachel on, and you're very close to the super now because all 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 of those sacks. So let's see. A recon sacrifice into the copter. Copter on copter. Something else. We're gonna take out that infantry. Sacrifice the. Oh no. Just attack with the tank, and it is enough for the super. Where will this land? I think one falls here because of the infantry. You got one, two, three, four, five. Remember this kind of double. Uh, yeah, there's one for sure. So it's right here. So it hits even these three. Oof, that hit. That hurts. And then the value one is probably around here. And HP might be here. You got three, seven units over here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, maybe, maybe you got two here, actually. Two here and one here. Let's see. Boom. Yeah, I got it. Look at that. You got two here. This is the HP and the value one. Because there's four tanks and an anti here. And this anti here. So I kind of probably like hit this. Over here was the value one. And over here was the, the HP one. And this one was the infantry. Oof. Getting away with three vehicle hits with an with a inf with an infantry missile and then the, the other one, the other two landing really nicely. That's a really good missile. But it did come at a cost, right? You sacrificed two copters and I guess a recon and then had some like eh engagements. But we're gonna get probably some nice cleaning up over here. Boom. And another one. Boom. And then we're gonna get these attacks. Finish that guy off, positioning this artillery to just to point at this tile, which is where the entire would attack. So very nice. Very very nice turn actually from reduce. Very, very nice finds there. And also, you know, the nice is capture as well. And really stops all the pressure. Oof, that was that was really good. Hitting five vehicles. No, six vehicles over here. And three of them over here. Really, really nice. Now it's Talos' turn, and he decides to use Sidewinder. Hmm. It's that copter. Hmm. Whoa! That tank all the way from the base is two, four, six, eight. We're gonna get that kill, although it's in range of artillery, so that is a goner, a gun, a goner, a gun. It's just, it's a dead end here. Whatever, doesn't matter. We're gonna try, but not be able to take that tank out. Hmm. Uh, use the bomber to get a tank. Okay. Try to prevent these antiers from reaching the the bomber. And interrupt that capture. And yeah, all of this is just like. Just have to go home. Go home, repair, do whatever you can because you're all injured, you can't do anything. There's a Neo tank here. And this has to swap back to Cold, which makes a lot of sense because you do have the, the super. And again, I think it makes a lot of sense. Like, it sucks because you don't get to have the plus 10 defense, but it is good because you get more charge, which is something that you would never do. You, you wouldn't be able to do when you have your power active, but as you use your power, then you swap then all the attacks you get next turn, you get charged from the CO that used the power, so that's nice. And then you're also gonna be able to maybe use a power or a super the very next turn with the CO that you just put in front. So boom, down goes that guy. I can see this image is just like trying to go over there. You know, trying to flip those cities. We're gonna, ooh, very nice find here. Wow, reduce is like doing a really good job here. We're gonna, we're, I went too far back, so we're gonna sacrifice this, that tank and then. Um, why is it glitching on me? Don't glitch on me. 
We're gonna there get that kill there on that tank. We're gonna kill that infantry, uh, and then here goes the entire. You go boom. Have you used? No, no. This is, this is without the power or super of flak. I think it makes sense to just to guarantee that, no? Like guarantee the the breakthrough there. Although with flak, I'm not sure if it was guaranteed or not. And now this high to bar barbaric blow. So I wanted to guarantee that, and now maybe wants to go for some crazy rolls. Let's see. Mm, okay. Infantry now. Bad roll. Oh, copter. Eh, decent. Did three damage. Okay, nice damage. Maybe gets the kill. Yeah, nice. And gets the kill there. Infantry. Whoa, that was a nice one. Infantry takes out a six, six HP tank. That's really nice. And that's probably it, maybe. Yeah, you don't want to attack here. There's an artillery. I guess you could like use the new tank to attack the copter if you want. We're gonna make a medium tank here. Really wanting to hold here. And this attack here, just, oof. Just destroying the force from Talos. There's nothing here now. I mean, you do have these, right? There's, these are gonna come in with, especially with a super of coal, but very, like, completely um, pushing back, pushing back the push. <laughs> I need more words in my vocabulary. I wish I had like a dictionary in my mind or something. And yeah, we're gonna switch back to Rachel. So Tal is gonna use Trail of Wall by Cole. And we're gonna bring these copters. Let's see. I'm gonna flip that city. And maybe try to get a kill here and then use the other tank. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, I think so. Oh, he's as uh he's the anti, okay. Then the other tank comes in and Boom, takes that guy out, start the capture. A lot of units. So, we're still able to get rid of all that little attack from Reduce. So the push is still coming, and there's a lot of infantry. But they're also the perfect bait. So these are probably the bait for the, the missiles of Rachel. So it's not necessarily that scary of a push. It's kind of a thing with fighting against Rachel, it's hard to have like a big push because you have to if you're gonna make the bait then you have to use a lot of infantry and if you use a lot of infantry then you, like your push is like what? Nothing. You just have one or two infantry pushing forward. Meh. It's not that scary. And you got a mega tank here as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess it, it makes sense. I'm not sure if it's to divert a missile. It's 28k, maybe. I think uh, one missile could land here actually. And hits the mega tank, infantry, infantry, mech. So we'll see. And, oh, and switches back to air. So now it's reduced its turn with the Rachel Super all charged up. Let's see if we're gonna use the Super or not. Okay. We're gonna start that capture, and yeah, we do use the super. So two of them go over here, the infantry and HP one goes here, and then the value one goes uh, here somewhere. Let's see if that mega tank can be taking. Ooh, this is a two. Not enough. So that mega tank lives, but it is a two. So <laughs> it's gonna repair up to four. Not that big of a threat anymore. It can be taken care of with the Neo tank, with artillery. We got the two or two is pointing at the base. Oof, it's looking really good for a reduce. Another me uh, medium tank over here. Mm -hmm. And just shooting at, the, at all these infantry to injure them and really delay these captures and potentially an HQ capture. Now you have no healthy infantry in this area. Except maybe for these two, if they come this way, to try to threaten an HQ cap. And maybe Regis wants to go for, you know, his own uh, HQ capture with this one that's healthy. He can go, boop, right there, next turn. So we'll have to see. What is Talos going to do now? I mean, you do have the adder power super. Uh, but oof, you're down 70k in value. And you got like half of the units over here. <laughs> 
Uf. Second Wrath. So, we're gonna use Sidewinder. Let's see. Infantry. Try to take out the Neo Tank. Okay, mech. Whoa, look at that. Nice little breakthrough. Take that guy out and. Oh, look at that. Even takes out that copter. And we're gonna try to. Hmm. I'm gonna take out the. Oh! Both artillery. Okay. That's really nice, actually. This means that Taos can build anything here and it's fine. And take all those guys out. It brings his artillery. So, yeah, very well defense, actually, by Taos. Really, really nice. It's the classic, you know, you got one army, another army, another army. You just pick one. Like, you're, you're in the middle, you pick one, boom, you crush it. And then you pull back and you crush another one. Like, uh, pincer strikes in advanced force by web are not that great of a strategy. They, they just don't work very well because of that. Because it's it's by turns, so you get to choose on your turn which army to attack. Sometimes they can work for sure, but it is very very tricky. And we got all these all these guys moving forward. And Rachel's power is actually like halfway charged. So, oof, where is this match going, really? I think... Uh, I don't know, Regis's position was looking really good, and now Talos is, is looking really good. There's all these units, and you got already one infantry pointing with a power even, you got this one also. And this overwhelming unit count in this area against just one base production, like no units, oof. And it's not looking like Regis's push is that scary in, any longer. Like, the Neo tank died, the two artilleries are injured, Wow, crazy, crazy swings in this match. We're gonna try to flip these. We use uh, uses the um, barbaric blow. We're gonna try to take out the black, but it doesn't. To try to make um, a battleship. Yeah, having a battleship here would be huge, really. But. It feels like uh, Reduce has never been able to get that. I think, um, yeah, Reduce was the one that tried to do that in the first match from this port, but it was kind of too late. And over here also, it's a little bit too late. Not, not being able to to have it in position. We're gonna have a fighter to contest this bomber and just sitting on the HQ with a medium tank to just delay this HQ push as much as possible. And swap. I'm gonna swap back to Rachel. Ooh, it's looking good for Talos right now. I'm liking Talos' position. Hmm. All of this is going to try to collapse down here, maybe? Yeah. Like, both armies try to pincer over here. Take out these artilleries. Just make more medium tanks to keep defending. You, like, you take out the artillery and you make medium tanks and you're going to be fine. Uh, ooh, nice. Nice little shot there. And yeah, it looks like yeah, it looks like Talos is just gonna bring everything collapse onto this base. Start some captures, have some healthy infantry in position for the HQ while this bomber is reaching. Just, just needs one more turn. And I think you can definitely use this bomber and go boom from the road with coal. And maybe like a tank, you take it out and you start a capture. So whoa. So again, we don't have the, the action by action for this turn. I don't know why, but we just gonna have to see what uh, Reduce does in one whole turn. So again, Reduce has this, these two medium tanks and the tank here, not much stuff. He could probably uh, interrupt this capture, maybe this one, or just sit back, maybe, like for sure make an enter, bring this one maybe, bring a tank. There's all these troops kind of disconnected. Maybe take this guy out and make a battleship. Let's see. So, whoa, actually, that's pretty crazy. And it sucks that we can't see the action by action here, but uses the power and decides to take out this medium tank. You can see, seems like I got lucky and got the copter, copter tank, and then started the capture with this guy, with his infantry. So in like copter, copter tank, and then infantry, Got a, just a normal roll over here. 
this is definitely interruptible and then over here just uh, pulling back it seems like still sitting on the HQ didn't go for any interrupts made a mega tank here on the base I think like the scary thing is not to lose the base the scary thing is to lose the HQ <laughs> but yeah it's like I don't think you can afford to make a an anti here because it's very easily taken out by this bomber and some uh, tank or something like yeah so there is this fighter over here kind of like supporting so oof, it is very tricky and I got this pressure over here this anti air pressuring this airport but I think this is kind of late again we're, we're getting into an HQ rush scenario so anything invested on the sides right now is kind of like whatever it's just stuff not invested in the places where it matters right now so I think we do have the action by action right now so let's see we got the trail of woe by Talos got the bomber Ooh, is this a one kill uh, one hit KO Ooh, no it's not with a tank Ooh, it is and look at that boom um, I get that KO there but yeah we're gonna start that capture and block everything here probably get as many attacks here and take that infantry, take that tank. Yep, block this mega tank probably with a copter. Just start to just anything, just block everything out, kill the other ones. Oof, yeah, look, overwhelming unit count is this is what it can do. Wow, so many units. <laughs> Oh my god, look, there's so many units. I don't think you can reach this. You just need like to... You just need one unit to reach this guy. But I don't think you can. Oh, brutal. And even... <laughs> Talos is deleting all these units. So that... Uh, Reduce can't magically get... Uh, a super or something like sacrificing everything or getting a power maybe and getting like super lucky and being able to get a <laughs> this is all in like <laughs> I either win or I lose in this turn <laughs> wow that is crazy I think we just gonna resign let's see we're gonna go for some attacks maybe try try to get a power it's gonna oh yeah because we got the hq cap going here as well well if we just can get a power and somehow attack this infantry that is crazy can you even like say you get extremely lucky and this tank take this anti air and then you get super lucky and this copter takes this tank out uh two four six uses anti to take out this infantry um and then he uses medium tank to take out this tank and then this tank goes two four six and attacks whoa there could actually be a chance here reduce could actually interrupt the capture and win over here just needs to attack that infantry that's it but can reduce get that charge i don't think you can get the charge i start off captures because you to even start all that chain of attacks you need to start it with a power and i don't think you can get the power yeah we're just gonna go for a bunch of captures mm, yeah reduce resigns gg very well played by talos there wow crazy it was looking really good. Reduce had that really good turn of the super with the double copter sacking and stuff and like like really um, putting down the, the pressure by, by Talos. But Talos then had really good finds, had a nice really attack over here, hitting those two artilleries, and then was able to, although this was slowed down, eventually it caught up and really amassed everything and went for the true gap. Wow, really good, really solid. Let's go to the next one okay we're in the fourth match of this round and we have Laska Larner versus Dead FS. both of these players have had one win already so far in this round um, or in the finals no of course 
and Lasca Learner beat uh, Reduce, and then DFS beat Shock. So whoever wins here is going to have two straight wins, zero losses, which is going to be amazing. To then, uh, you know, in the second round in the next map, have two more games and try to be the champion. So definitely an important match here. Maybe it will get us closer to know who is going to be the champion. Um, so, the CO picks, I'm just going to go ahead and start a bit, but CO picks are very similar actually. The only difference, so Alaska Lerner went, went in, uh, again with Adder and uh, Cole. DeadFS actually switched it up and went with Lash and Jess. And, and on the other match, actually, DeadFS went with the with this duo as well, went with the Adder and Cole. Maybe DFS didn't want to have that mirror. We don't know, we don't know. But it is very interesting to see that DFS picked a different pair of COs in the same map. And they, they play these matches at, at the same time, right? So it's like, I don't know, you, you might have a strategy, you know, you pick certain COs, and you would expect players to play it similarly, like the first few terms. Uh, and you you would pick like the same CEO, right? Because because it's like what you think is the best pick for for that map. So definitely very interesting to see DFS picking two different CEOs here. So again, very important match here for both. Um, they both had a win before. They're they're both gonna try to get the second win. Mm. I'm not really uh, covering any of these like chronologically in order. They all start at the same time, but they might end at different times. I'm just covering them randomly, like one after the other one. So, just in you know, for the sake of the video, as we're watching them in in that chronological order, I guess uh, it is like oh, the, an important game for both. So. Um, I'm not sure about that lash pick though, because if if this map plays out like high funds, lash tends to not shine very much in high funds. And why is that? Because her powers are not very good, and high funds is pretty much all about those powers. And I'm gonna predict, as we saw before, that the duo of you know the the movement bros. <laughs> um, <laughs> They they get power one after the other one, you know. At a certain point, if we get to like turn I don't know ten or something like that, it's power power or super 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 just like four or five turns in a row. Who was it that had that? Um, was it? I think it was actually Lasca Larner actually in the first one against uh, Reduce. So that's something that uh, Lash is gonna have a really hard time dealing with. Her only benefit is to have that extra firepower as a day-to-day, -day. and it's a bit complicated to get enough of an advantage from that to compensate the lack of a power. So, it's not that she doesn't have a power, it's just that hers is a bit underwhelming compared to other powers. Now, let's see. They're both not speeding up the airport, they're putting the same thing that we had covered before, the, the double infantry kind of thing. So the black balls are just going to sit there, very kind of mirroring each other. I guess this guy is, uh, we'll see what, what he does. We got this uh, artillery here, which is our first vehicle, I think. Uh, yeah, it is our first vehicle. We got also a tank here, so got two vehicles as our starting vehicles. This artillery is most likely going to go over here, as we've seen before many, many times. Well, many, many times. Uh, three times, maybe. We've only covered three matches so far. And we're going to have Las Calarna doing double artillery here and double recon. Wow, okay, interesting. Definitely, these recons could... I mean, this one I'm not super sure about. What do you do with this recon? This one, yeah, no, this one you send it over here. We've seen this before. Interrupt the airport or just delay the captures in this area for for a long time. This one, I'm not sure. 
maybe it's to go here and start harassing this area or maybe it's to go over over here in this area we'll have to see actually the black boat is gonna <laughs> it's gonna like push this infantry to go to this capture that's that's funny hmm there goes artillery gonna lock these two cities so that Laska can't get them and okay I'll see what this regalon goes I'm interested this one of course gonna go for the airport area and actually no tank here from DFS means that this is probably gonna be a dead infantry in two turns and we're actually going towards the middle yeah so it is, it is definitely to be putting pressure over here and I think also the dull artillery build here. <laughs> Wait, they're, they're, both of them are doing artillery. <laughs> what? We haven't seen this many artillery on any of the other games. <laughs> you see, this, this is why I like to cover multiple games in the same map. It is the same map, but you get very different games. It's so cool. Crap. Okay. So, we're getting all these cities. It's insane how many captures you have like here in the back. It's just ridiculous. At least like must be like 18k or something. All of this. It's worth a lot of money. So there goes a the black boat. Um the artillery are just gonna sit here, I think. And this one is gonna come over here, gonna lock uh, it looks like it's locking this port so that the black boat can just go and sit there. It's very nice. You're gonna get a nice hit there with a lash tank on the forest. Very nice. We're gonna get a copter. And just chilling here with artillery. Very nice, very nice. Looks like we got all four airports online and ready to go. So, come towers, got the support. Actually, this artillery getting a shot on that uh, artillery in a city. And the recon uh, is just gonna. <laughs> this image had to like walk back here. No? Recon just gonna. Chase it and stay out of range of this tank. It's just one tile short. There's this double forest, which is really annoying. Uh, we're gonna get that shot there, blocking this tile with the black bolt so that the tank can't hit the recon. So yeah, this is probably a dead... Unless you put the infantry here and you put this tank here. Infantry could live. And we're gonna get attack here from the planes against this lash tank uh, before any com towers actually I think that was probably a good roll because without any com tower there is a chance that you drop it to six I thought it was maybe a six or seven but it seems like maybe it's either five or six on a forest and I think that was a good roll because no com towers yeah there's no com tower oh but also, it was also chipped Although at 1 HP, what is it, 1% damage? <laughs> you know, I can actually do the damage calculator. Let's do that. So. Not sure if this is worth, but. From the planes. Uh, 4451. Yeah, so very, very good roll here. Very lucky roll. And then a good roll on the counter attack as well. So it could have been 6 and then 7. Imagine that, 6, 7. That would have been pretty... Pretty bad for Adder. Then you get hit back by a tank. There's another tank here backing it up, so that defense definitely does have to back off. But um, that defense will be getting to see though, so that's really nice. Yep, there you go. We're gonna start that capture as well. Um, okay, we're gonna get a shot there. Okay, we're gonna attack the tank again. Hmm. And then this infantry is actually gonna die. <laughs> so yeah, this tank is probably... Well, no, this recon is just gonna move like this, boom. And kill that infantry. Or you can actually send it here and damage this uh, infantry severely. And then all of these captures are gonna be delayed so much. I think that would be probably the best idea. That's probably what I would do. Because you can make this... Imagine you go down to with two towers, oof, probably like five or four HP. Four HP would be even deadlier. Let's see. Gets all the com towers? Yes. Let's see how much the recon does. 
And we're gonna go for this interrupt, and then it's a guaranteed KO because of the two counter. Boom. And then Recon hits the right today. Oof, that hurts a lot. And then tank. Entire kills the tank, so that's really nice here for Last Kalarner. That entire is like has free reign, at least for one turn. And it's, it seems like Laska's gonna flip the city as well. There you go. Ooh, left it at three. Is that worse than four? Three is seven turns and four is five turns. Yeah. That is two turns worse. Like that's two turns more worth of captures. Wow. So really, really good. So tank is gonna die. I mean recon, boom, it's dead. And Ah, lashes with one com tower also. I swear these recon plays onto the airport island have been so deadly. Like whenever they do it, it just has so much of an impact. It delays maybe the airport. We've seen airports not getting captured before. Com towers delayed for so long, and just in general the properties really, really good. And just like letting the recon die, just getting as much hits on on infantry as possible. These are all gonna die. And then, looks like we're getting all these captures over here. This backboard is just chilling. We're gonna actually interrupt this capture, but it's not gonna be sustainable though. I don't think that FS can really keep the city. Oh, actually going for that copter hit. Okay. Interesting. I guess, I guess you do have two tanks here. So, you know, Antair comes in, kills his copter. And then you bring in the tank and you have this copter here. Then you lose the anti-air. And you have your airport here. Yeah, I, I guess it is totally totally fair by, by DFS actually. Like that's what I tend to say. I, I don't I don't like to lose the anti-air to only get one copter kill. Like it's not worth. You want your anti-airs to get more than just a copter kill. Okay, let's see. Actually, going for that side slip with Adder. Let's see. We're gonna get this capture, okay. We're gonna also start this capture and that one. So, three captures started by side slip. Let's see. Get a nice hit there. Mm, okay, and starts this capture. So, sped up a lot of captures. I'm not sure if that's like the best use for a, for a side slip, but we'll see. Mm, no attacks, except for the copter one. And there's one there, so we're taking out that infantry. No more infantry over here for DFS, so DFS is not gonna get this city anytime soon. Or any of these, for that matter. <laughs> it is it is pretty crazy how, um, how do you say, scarce of infantry this base tends to get you know this one you know take out that and actually doubling down on capturing this city or flipping it doing a little join cap and swatches uh sw switches switches back to call sometimes i i, I don't know i can't get my the, the words out of my mouth uh, 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 uh. let's see tank gonna Stay in this area to try to stop any of these caps. Makes a copter to deter this copter from attacking the tank. Mm, I tell you to protect this capture. We are gonna double down on this interrupt, maybe? Uh, it doesn't seem like you can, though. I don't think this tank can drop this infantry down to three. Ah, almost. It might have been a roll. Let's see. No, it wasn't a roll. <laughs> so, it it wasn't a roll. And that's because of no com tower. Look at that. If maybe the com tower was enabled, then this could have been interrupted. And there's definitely a lot of units. But with the help of like double base reinforcement airport. 
this brawl that has been started in this area is definitely more like it's looking better for ZFS than it would be for Alaska because there's only one base reinforcing here for Alaska Learner because this base is kind of like stuck here fighting in this area and there's no copters actually so very very interesting and then okay we're gonna get all these captures this island seems very secure well there's actually an entire coming queue from ZFS I will pose a lot of trouble for uh, Alaska so I'm expecting this tank to maybe roll down here yeah to contest this entire and not lose this area mm, lots of tanks again remember I said very scarce I'm not sure scarce this door is this door but whatever it's like there's a very scarce amount of, of infantry here can't even get this city <laughs> like there's this poor little guy and then this one that's has been sent over here, but because you're pumping out vehicle, 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 you just have no infantry. We're changing back to Adder. And Dedefist has just stuck with Lash this whole time, so we can't see the other bar, the, the other charge bar for Jess. So until Dedefist switches, that, I don't think that's gonna show up. But uh, but Jess is getting charged, so Jess should be like two stars already with charge. Um, actually, just gonna chill, reposition. Gonna try to flip this back into red. Um, got some artillery here getting set up. This entire um, just out of range, although with a power you can get a shot there. Not sure if, if it would be worth because. You do have two, two artilleries before, uh, two artilleries behind it. Okay. So we definitely need a tank over here. Or a copter. Yeah, because if not, this tank is going to keep getting away with all these shots. Uh, are we going to interrupt this capture or no? Okay, yeah, we are. Just one shot, probably, and leave it at, at that. Ah, oh my god. And leave it at that. And let these guys heal up. Mix an entire, just, you know, again, more vehicles, more vehicles, more vehicles. No infantry, there's no infantry here. <laughs> I mean, I guess also the, the reason why you can keep hitting here, because if you let it flip, then you're just not going to get it back, because you're not making any infantry. I think also having copter support coming in this way would be huge for Alaska in, in this area. But see, there's also a lot of artillery here. Uh, maybe Alaska was, wants to try to push into this area. Mm. Actually, they're first getting these cities over here. That's really interesting. Mm, kind of pulling back from over here. It doesn't want to invest too much in this area. And setting up defensively here, as well as here. More end tires. Okay, giving up on the property, but it's gonna get a nice lash hit right here. Boom! And just more tanks, more copters. And we got the infantry spamming is being done on this base, so it's gonna take a while. But there's already three healthy infantry here for lash. So I can definitely see all of this trying to just pour down in here. We'll see. I, I think the deciding thing is going to be this army from Las Galarna. What does it decide to do? Does it decide to attack here? Does it decide to go and reinforce this area? We'll have to see. Okay, so we're going to start this capture. We're actually going to invest in this island over here. Try to get these captures. So these islands are, are huge because there's so many properties. You have one, two, three, four that you can easily contest and... Well, easily contest. That are very contestable and flippable. And then you also got the airport, which is huge. It's a big deal, you know? You also got the comp tower, so there's a lot. So fighting in these islands tends to be very, very important and very rewarding as well. Um, it looks like last guy just gonna set up here defensively. Probably pulls this tank back. 
I interrupt that capture. Yeah, pulls out a tank. Sets up here defensively. And I'm gonna swap to um, to Cole. So we got that FS flash now, yes, with the double comm tower. Gonna get that kill as well as pointing at that comm tower. It's, it's a big deal. I think though you can probably just put the infantry here and make a copter. It's two, four, six. No, it can it can reach it, so never mind. We're gonna stop that and place that infantry right on top of that city. That's really nice. And this artillery to attack anything that decides to attack from here. That's really nice. It's interesting to see some play on the islands that we haven't seen that much on the other matches. That's really cool. I'm gonna start this capture. We're actually gonna start this one as well. And okay, and this one as well. Oh, it would be huge. Oh, okay, there's a bomber. It, it would be huge if like there was an artillery here. Made last turn. And then right, you know, two turns before, even better, but like to have it set up here and start this, start the siege on the city and also because of this, because up to a certain amount of time you know, it's it's screaming um, medium tank and so, so it's a good way to to stop a medium tank but you got the airport here so you can easily make a, a bomber and that is what the defense decides to do I'm gonna sack some copters onto some anti-airs. Is it to get the super? Yep, we're gonna get this tank attack, and that means that Laska Liner has the super ready. Oof. Okay, so something big is gonna happen right now, right? And as I'm saying that, uh, I can't believe this is getting blocked here. I'm gonna try to fix that. There you go. But now the, the tile thingy with the unit information is a little bit cut off, but oh well. Again, another of the complications of casting this round. I apologize uh, for the inconvenience, but it is what it is. <laughs> Uh, it's also this is it's just a very wide map and like you know, the interface of the site isn't very very uh, um, I don't know how to say it. it's a bit clunky for this so but it's okay we manage it's not like knowing this last digit is gonna really help that much but still whatever uh, mm, 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 mm. we're gonna get these hits here this is was really really nice though collapsing over here in this island sitting on that um on that airport and now this tank is not dislodgeable like yeah you do have prime tactic prime tactics ready but you need two hits on that tank and this tank it doesn't reach and this copter does reach and this one also but they both reach from the same tile so you don't have the possibility of hitting from two tiles so that tank is gonna live and it will if anything attacks there's two anti-airs, so yeah, this is looking super strong from Alaska in this airport area. Really nice. We're gonna get this interrupt here. Mm, and actually kill the infantry. Take that one out as well. Medium tank comes in with an extra movement and gets a mega overkill on a 4 HP infantry. But we're gonna get that uh, kill in that copter, get some more hits. Ooh, from a road, that's probably KO. Oof, almost. How much does that do? Ooh, oh, how is that a KO? And uh, this one is not. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, okay, so it was a roll. Okay. <laughs> so it's a roll. This one is probably also a roll. Because tanks do a little bit more damage to anti-airs than they do to, to tanks. And because this one is on the planes, it will be probably the same thing. Nice hit there, and there's no copter or anti-air. Oof, this turn is brutal. Is that, and it's not over yet. This, this turn is just like insane. Really great attack here. Really great attack here. Nothing to answer back. Like, look, you have what? One, two tanks healthy to attack into this. You got this bomber that can literally 
just can't shoot at, at anything. If this black belt stays here, it cannot shoot any, at anything of value. Wow. Yeah, and then switches back to Adder. Oof. I think that might be it. I think that's probably GG. <laughs> I mean, if I were ZFS, I'd, I'd be probably calling GGs, but ZFS is really good. So let's see what can ZFS do. We got our prime tactics. Boom, I'm gonna take that out. Maybe we're gonna go for a little overrunning of this airport side, you know, try to mirror this. Mm, definitely gonna have to pull back over here. Not enough uh, army to attack here. Take that out. There's all this army that doesn't have a job this turn. It looks like no, we're not gonna go down here. And I said we're just gonna hit the copters and take out the black boat. And actually not going for this. Kind of like going towards up here to try to reclaim this area eventually. Hmm. Sagging that copter. And that infantry with extra stats. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I still think Laska Larner's position is really good. Let's see. We got another super. Remember what I was saying? Back to back. Back to back supers. Insane. So, oof, look at that. Prime Tactics Defense. <laughs> That's insane. We're gonna sack that infantry. Uh, oof, now yes, yeah. Once you start lowering the, the HP of Lash's units, those uh, crazy stats start to dwindle, dwindle, dwindle or dwindle down. So yeah, it's much easier to to take these out. Let's see if that takes it out. Oh, maybe with a one HP copter. Oh, okay, five units to take this guy out. <laughs> and we're gonna take that copter out and the other one. Oof, and we're gonna start the comptar and finish this one and start the airport. Oof, deadly. And you can probably also start these two captures. Oof. And we got all these infantry over here as well. Mm, we got our tank and a copter perfect here to deter any of this stuff. We're gonna just attack onto that copter and ooh, that medium tank coming in and just I mean again a, a very big overkill, right? But uh, uncontested and huge blocker. Like this all this army. And it looks like the last color is gonna take over this base. Look, boom. Oh wait. No, you can definitely get it. You can put the copter here. Mm. You tank and you put the copter. Oof. Brutal. And then all these are just gonna come back here to reinforce. And all this is gonna stuck on this side. So like there's this choke area choke area right here, like you know the mountains with just one tile passage. And there's a medium tank and a tank, so only one tile to attack from. And even then there is an artillery pointing in there. So Oof. Bomber, Neo tank, mm, and a tank over here. Yeah, I guess for this tank right here. And DFS resigns, which is totally, totally, totally fair. Yeah, very good, uh, very good turns by Laska Larner. And crazy, Laska Larner gets two wins from this first round. So congrats to Laska Larner. That was huge, the little uh, copter sacking that turn to get that uh, that super on the previous turn. That was huge. Got this beautiful break over here. Let's, let's try to go to that turn. Yeah, this one. This turn was, was insane. So I got that, those copter sacks, boom, boom, boom. And then this anti-air reaches that infantry. You can take out that tank and sit on the city block here so the tank can attack the anti-air just huge like the position that you gain here is huge and you bring everything as well Oof. and then over here this one was brutal boom you take out a copter you take that out the tank all the all the infantry that copter that tank that anti-air that tank oh just a massacre even that there's <laughs> only one tank left <laughs> no yeah that turn was huge 
So yeah, GG's to Last Learner. Well, to both, great game. And let's move to the next one. Okay, so we're down to the last match of this round. Oh, it's been a long one. And actually very interesting games. So in this last one, we have Shock versus Talos. And Talos did get a win. Uh, yeah, it was against Reduce. Actually, Reduce lost both matches. Talos got one win and Shock lost against um, DeadFS. So here it can be either Talos' second win or it can be Shock's redemption. You know, try to like, okay, you can you can maybe lose one and but then if you win the next three, then you can still be the, the winner. You know, as long as the other ones get a loss, you're still in it. So definitely uh, very competitive still, you know, for both. They both want to win, of course. So let's get into it. So we got Shock in Orange Star with Rachel and Jess. And I think that's the same pick he did in the other match. Mm, which was against uh, which one is this? Oh, against Derefes. And then we got uh, Talos with Adder and Cole, which he also picked again. So they're, they're both having the same CO pick that they had last time. And Shock going for the little airport rushing here. Uh, same thing here. Okay, and Talos is gonna um, go for this. I guess this infantry can't do the, the airport rushing. But yeah, he's not gonna rush any airport. Let's see if we're gonna see any recons. Maybe by shock. They definitely got him a lot of value. Mm, maybe one from. I think it was from here last time, wasn't it? Or here. Can't remember. It was like a day two recon. But no, no recon this time. Let's see. Hmm. Talos is still going to get this airport on time. This one is just going to be a little bit delayed. Actually, yeah, it is going to be a little bit delayed, just by one turn. But maybe that's an, an FTA counter thing. So that might be fine. Hmm. So there goes the airport. Here go all these mill chains. It's always very uh, funny because, like, say you have uh, an image here you can go like this one two three four <laughs> or you can go one two like you capture this one and then this one or backwards like there's some chains that kind of like interact with each other and you don't know like like this one can go here 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 or this one can go like this so it's like <laughs> you gotta pick and choose your your capture chain routes hmm okay so we got our first vehicles are going to be two artilleries from Talos. And Talos loves artillery. Let's see. We got a recon over here from Shark. Hmm. Interesting that he didn't do one in the turn before. But maybe he feels it was too early and didn't want to be too low on infantry on this area, you know? Because if you do this recon one turn earlier, you can stop this airport capture and it will be huge. But maybe that's not in his plans. And he, he still intends on taking out this infantry and preventing all the other caps. And we got a tank here. I got a double tank from Tau. So double recon, double tank against double artillery from Tau's in the middle. And we'll see what Tau's is going to do with those artillery. Where are these going to be sent? Probably this one's going to come over here. We take those captures and this one is probably gonna sit somewhere here and like lock these two cities i'm gonna get that yeah there we go protect that and yeah exactly that then double tank on the middle and then more infantry on the side hmm let's see where do the recons go this one goes towards here and this one towards the middle probably mm, shock has both islands very chill no problem no no recon, harassment, anything. So yeah, there goes the recon to the north, and that one goes towards the middle. Hmm. I'm gonna interrupt actually from the plains, and then one from the city, 
and with no com tower that is uh, guaranteed not KO. <laughs> Uh, puts his tangles right there. Uh, I think I think it's fine because he can't hit it. Like this tank can't hit this tank. Yeah. And we're gonna swap to Jess. So now it's Talos' turn, and we're gonna go for a Comtar. We're gonna finish all these more central caps. And takes out that infantry and just sits here with a tank. Mm, so you can sit on the well, on this port to prevent this infantry from capturing it. We haven't yet seen a successful battleship from this base, from this port to lock this base. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see. So there goes the recon. This infantry is probably a dead infantry. Double capture. <laughs> it's like you can interrupt one of them, but not both of them. Recon coming in here. Oh, it almost is able to reach that artillery, but it doesn't. <laughs> and we're gonna attack here for free, it almost seems like. That's really nice. Hmm. Almost seems like uh, Shock has more presence in this overall area right here. And then Tal has like more stuff over here. Uh, hmm. Let's see. So we're going to send two images down over here to the airport area. So we're probably going to back it up with an anti here. Makes a copter yeah, and, and a tank and you should be fine here. Let's see if this tank yeah, goes towards down here to, to kind of defend because this can be a little bit scary. Okay, now it's Shock's turn. Now shock. You, this recon can't interrupt any capture and can't hit any infantry, so it doesn't have a job right now. I wonder if this recon is gonna maybe take this guy out or or no, maybe just maybe just chill in a city and bring that entire or something like that. Like put it on the comptar, nah, because then you can go tank. You like tank copter? You sail with an infantry there, something like that. So actually gonna send in these tanks over here. And puts the recon just out of range of that tank. Unless there's a power. Gotta be careful with those powers. Mm. Okay, and sends the recon back towards the middle. All these roads are so nice for this recon. But it can't do much. It, it can definitely get a shot at an artillery that is exposed, so. That'll be something to be on the lookout for. Uh, this this northern island for Talos is very nice and secure. And oh, he made a mech too from here. <laughs> That's funny. And okay, we're still gonna block this city and we're gonna take out these guys. Copter's gonna just gonna switch towards the middle since the entire went. Over there to the north. Copter just gonna float on the water outside of that uh, anti-air uh, range, and we're getting to that setup, the setup that we've seen a lot of, oh, overwhelming this one base over here. All these infantry are gathering up. All of these, the airport. <laughs> so this island is also very nice for shock. They both have like a very secure island and then one that's not very secure. <laughs> there goes that copter to get a free shot there. I guess it was like, okay, I'll, I'll just go for the double cap and you can interrupt one of them, but I'll get the other. Mm, doesn't get that KO. Oh, because it's Jess. So it's 110 firepower with the two comp towers. And has to back off from right here because there's no, ba no tank backup, so this tank could get a free shot. Huh. More tanks over here, more defensive, because yeah, this is a little bit too much. You don't want to just barge in, in here and then get destroyed. And then this base can't defend itself. This tank will, will probably go up over here to defend. Or maybe down. I'm not sure. Okay. I guess Shock doesn't know either. <laughs> more like middle position. It can either go here, it can either go there. Okay. 
We're getting those captured. These are always so late. Like all these the, the little islands, they, they take forever to get captured. We're gonna go for the comm tower. Okay, we're gonna get that kill. Mech slowly moving in. All this little army slowly moving in as well from Talos. And this army over here, so it's like a little pincer strike, it seems like. Although this one could be pincer striked by these two. <laughs> so we'll have to see. It's almost like this area, I mean, always, no, the area, the very middle of the map is always very important. Because right here you can, uh, the one that's here can decide, okay, I'm just going to pincer strike everything on here. Or, every, pincer strike everything over here. So, let's see. Mm, oof. Oh yeah, that was not a free shot, actually. <laughs> that was that anti right there. Wait. Why did that copter stay there? Because it attacked, right? Ends the turn. And then Talos moves in. And then Shark doesn't move this copter. Whoa. Oh, I think Shark... Yeah, it looks like Shark timed out. So Shark timed out there in the middle of the turn. And so yeah, that copter is gone. You know, didn't move the vast majority of the army, just sitting exactly where, where it was. And this is going to be pretty brutal. Yep. It's going to die. Uh, there's going to be a lot of those shots right there. More shots here. Oof, yeah. You, yeah, timing out is deadly. So now it's Shark's turn. Is it going to be resigned? Yep. Doesn't show us. Okay, it's it's kinda it's kinda bugged. I think I think shock timed out again. Oops. Yeah, so shock timed out. So yeah, so GG to <laughs> it, it doesn't show here but uh shock timed out and so booted and it gave the win to Talos. So, yeah, uh, good game to Talos, congratulations to Talos, getting the second win there. I think uh, Shock after that might have, I think this after this, Shock kind of like left the, the scene or something, at least for, temporarily. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the double boot, uh, and then he hasn't been playing have high funds in a while, so we hope Shock is doing well and you know possibly comes back because it's always nice to have these really good players playing but anyways congrats to to Talos Shock has double losses so it doesn't seem like Shock would have any chances in getting the the cup in this one so let's see let's review our wins right we got from our from our five players we got Laska Larner with double win. And we got Talos with double win as well. And then we have DFS with a win against Shock. And we have Reduce and Shock with double losses. So those two are probably not your contenders for first place. And the others might. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. The second round is still being played, so to see what happens uh i hope you guys enjoy this i'm sorry for the uh, how clunky this is and all the errors and i honestly have no idea how i'm gonna edit this it's gonna be madness it's gonna take me forever so <laughs> uh yeah i hope you you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next round bye bye